Folks here at osmvtxreviews.com, you're watching our video review of Windows 8 uh, Consumer Preview Edition running on the EXO PC. This is a tablet PC with an Intel Atom 1.66 GHz dual core processor, 32 or 64 GB of solid state memory, and 2 GB of DDR3 RAM, which makes it a pretty up to date modern. Uh, computer in terms of specs, um, but in terms of original operating system, it actually ran on Windows 7 Home Premium. You might remember that a few months ago, we reviewed the EXO PC Iteration 2, which actually ran on Mego operating system, the same version, in fact, that the uh, counterpart running on, on Nokia's N9 did, um, but upgraded to Windows 8, the most up-to-date Windows operating system that supports touch in terms of multi-touch and all the gestures, it makes the EXO PC a lot better in terms of value. In fact, the street price for one of these things has fallen to only about $200 or so, which makes it very affordable if you're looking for an up-to-date, um, kind of really good tablet PC, and you don't mind the fact that it's not as hyped over as some other products out there, um, as long as you have Windows 8 installed. Now, the developer preview iteration is not like the fully functioning version in the sense of it has everything fully working, but you can see that to a large extent, most of the applications will run just fine. We see that the Metro UI and all the tiles are loaded up very speedily and they offer a really fast response. Everything is pretty lucid. In terms of some downsides to uh, upgrading to Windows 8 um, is the fact that we found sometimes the touchscreen got a little bit finicky. Um, a lot of the times it would be just fine, but uh, we found ourselves sometimes having to use a stylus, like a capacitive stylus to navigate the touchscreen because it would get a lot of ghost touching sometimes, but for the most part it isn't that huge of an issue and most other users have not noted this issue other otherwise, so it should maybe it's just our unit itself, um, but just something to take note of. If we took a look at the built-in keyboard, it is a lot better than the previous iterations of Windows could offer. You have the full spacious layout, and it's pretty easy to, uh, to touch and type, and because the device offers multi-touch capabilities, you can type very fast without the device slowing down. The, the device also has the native drivers already installed uh, for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you also can put in a Bluetooth keyboard or a wired USB keyboard if you want to do that. The keyboard, of course, can also be split into different modes. If you want to use a split keyboard for you to use, um, you know, from two different sides, um, that's also another option. As you can see here, it gets occasionally a little bit sluggish, so it isn't the fastest product out there, unlike a more up-to-date CPU like Core i3 or Core i5, until Atom is still on the lower side of the spectrum. But uh, for most applications and tasks, it will still work. So, for example, if we want to take a look at the split keyboard again, there we go. Um, now we can have a a thumb typing experience where we have one side as a keyboard, emoticons, and the other side has the other half. It works pretty well. And the last type that you can select from is actually a handwriting recognition, which works very well with the stylus. Um, so for example, we want to type on something like OS Reviews, it actually recognizes our touch pretty well. And we were actually fairly impressed by this. For the most part, um, you can see that if you pressure the device a little bit harder on the screen, it works pretty well. Now the developer preview edition doesn't have all the applications up and running, but you have most uh, applications that are here. They include the store access, you have a music player, um, you have weather applications, some other clients on here. You also have the ability to multitask by sliding up a secondary task and putting it onto the side of the screen, and then you can open up and add up, utilize two different applications at once, which is pretty impressive, and you can flick out to get rid of one. Otherwise, a pretty intuitive operating system, again, with all the touch enhanced functionality, it definitely adds to the value of the EXO PC. One area where the tablet kind of lacks is in web browsing, at least with the native built-in Internet Explorer app, which is not as good as Google Chrome or Firefox in terms of optimizing pages, and you can kind of see that how Sometimes browsing the web gets a little bit clunky here and there, like I don't know why this zoomed in all the way here, um, and some errors here and there might be apparent, and also you might notice a little bit of lagging and stuttering when using the browser in this department. Um, if we wanted to switch back to the regular keyboard, for example, let's try and see if YouTube will load. You'll notice that the developer preview actually does not have Flash Player preloaded, so the downside of this is if you want to play back videos like Hulu or YouTube, it might actually take a lot longer to load than normal, and it might crash a lot more. However, with a modern installation of Google Chrome, the product will actually work a lot better. Again, speeds aren't fantastic, but at least Wi-Fi is working, and uh, you can still have adequate reception here, um, and it's better, I guess, than 2G or even 3G in the case of smartphones. So the processor does do a pretty good job, um, but again, Internet Explorer is a little bit outdated on this particular build of the Windows 8 Consumer Edition. So if we wanted to search up perhaps just a quick video, wanted to tap on something to see if it will load, 
Um, again, it gets a little bit clunky, not as fast and lucid as you might want from a modern day web browser, but it will load a few seconds later and you see that flash icon. Um, and it does tend to crash a lot more than your typical, again, browser. But once again, installing Chrome will basically fix all of these issues, which is definitely good. Overall, you also have the stereo speaker environment that you originally have on the tablet itself. So you do have pretty good music experience and music playback, which isn't that big of an issue. Um, and playing back MP3s, watching videos is still as enjoyable as ever, but you do have touch enhanced functionality. One area where Windows 8 is not good as Windows 7 is the ability to directly play back DVD movies. It's not as apparent on the tablet PC because it doesn't have an optical drive built in, but if you want to connect in a USB-based DVD player and you put in a DVD in there to play it, the product does not have Windows Media Player uh, pre-installed for you to play back your movies. So in order to play back a DVD, you have to actually install a third-party application from, from the web, which is a little bit ridiculous, especially if you like to watch uh, movies on DVDs and CDs rather than over the web. Overall, a pretty good experience. Again, everything else is pretty lucid and fast, and the device runs surprisingly nicely. Um, so if you're worried about upgrading the device or getting one with Windows 8 installed, I wouldn't say that it's a huge issue because it works fairly well. Um, everything works and everything is very responsive. You can see that you can use two fingers as well, supports multi-touch in that function, um, and you can also write with the stylus, which works pretty well um, additionally. You can even change the brushes. Again, this device doesn't have pressure sensitivity in the sense that it's like a Wacom tablet, so you're not going to be, it's not going to be the greatest thing to use for Adobe Photoshop or for graphic artists out there, but for the general user, just having this touch functionality on board like a regular tablet is still pretty nice to have. Overall, I would say that Windows 8 runs pretty fairly on the EXO PC. It's not the best in the world in terms of it gets occasionally a bit sluggish, it hangs up, and the touch sensitivity is not the best that we've seen. However, to a large degree, we do think that the product works very well. Um, all the applications are pretty much up and running directly without having to install any more drivers, and performance is generally favorable, and I think better than the previous uh, Windows 7 Home Premium installed on the EXO PC. So again, if you own one of these, I would say upgrading is a good idea. Thanks for watching this video review of Windows 8 running on the EXO PC here at osmbtxtvs.com and also our brother site at OS Tech News.